welcome back in this tutorial we will learn about shaft and groove command so let's start click on start mechanical design part design ok now for shaft we will need one sketch so click on here on sketch and we will take this vertical plane then suppose we will create one circle and actually in shaft we will need to give one axis around which we want to revolve so create one axis suppose around this axis we want to revolve then click on exit workbench then click on shaft click on preview so it has revolved the circle around that axis in 360 degree if you want it to be up to some angle you can give it here suppose I want it for 180 degree click on preview so it will create the half so you can give your desired angle your first angle and second angle then if you want it to be thick profile if you want to give the thickness and create a hollow shape then you have to click on this thick profile and here you have to give the thickness how much thickness you want it click on preview so in this way it has created a hollow revolve shape and if you want to give some thickness on other side also so from if I give it one preview so from our sketch this hidden line is our sketch outside it has gone by 1 mm and inside it is 1 by 2 mm so in this way you can specify the thickness different thickness on both the sides and if you want 50 50 of the single thickness then you have to click on this neutral fiber so it will divide the thickness half on both side of your sketch so in this way you can use the thick profile and if you want this revolve to be on other direction you can click on this reverse direction click on preview so in this way using reverse direction you can change the direction and click on ok and if you don't don't want the thick profile remove the tick click on ok so your shaft will be ready and suppose I delete this object and I create some complicated shape so click on sketch select this plane and suppose I create some shape using profile command so this shape is there and I want to re revolve it around this axis and the size of the internal hole will be the this will be the radius of internal hole whatever distance you give here that will appear as an internal hole for the shaft then click on exit again click on shaft I want it for 360 degree ok so this in this way you can create different components for using shaft and the opposite of shaft is groove using groove you can remove the material suppose again for that I will create one sketch select on sketch take the vertical plane and create the shape that you want to cut it suppose I want to cut a vertical shape like this I will just check to divide frame ok I want to cut something like this again I will go for and axis this is the axis around which I want to revolve it exit workbench then to cut it click on group then for group you can give two directions one is direction of revolution and one is the material to remove if I click on this 
so that means external material will be removed if i click on preview so outside the material of that circle has been removed and if i click on it and says that i want to remove internal material and click on preview so internal material will be removed that circle got a bigger size actually so in this way you can remove it and you can create a thick profile also so other options are same as per pad command so click on ok we will just reduce the size of that circle so click here sketch to and we will give constraint make it 50 and exit workbench so in this way that groove is created so in this way you can create the object using groove and shaft so we can also apply some material suppose i want some this green material ok and click on here and shading with material so in that way that object will look like so that's all so if you want to view next if you want to view the exercises solved using this tutorial you can visit here and if you want to view the next tutorial you can visit here for complete playlist visit here and to subscribe from here you can subscribe the channel so thanks for watching we will stop here